major victory today for former Saints standout Steve Gleason and ALS patients nationwide. The Steve Gleason Act passed in the U.S. House and will help those battling diseases like ALS and Parkinson's acquire vital technology to help them lead more normal lives. Here was the vote in the House earlier this afternoon. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass Senate Bill 984? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider... The bill will make speech-generating devices available to patients with diseases such as ALS under the federal Medicare and Medicaid programs. Gleason, of course, made several trips to D.C. and urged lawmakers to move this legislation forward. Uh, but the reason that Steve Gleason inspires people today, uh, Mr. Speaker, is not because of what he did on the football field. It's because of what he's done to serve as an inspiration for people all across the country, people with all disabilities, since he was diagnosed with ALS, with Lou Gehrig's disease. And Mr. Speaker, what he's done is to go out and show uh, that he's able to ex exhibit his voice because of the speech generating device that he has. Uh, but this isn't something that he just wants for himself. He wants this for all people who have something to say, who have that same voice to be able to go out and inspire other people. And only on six, video of Gleason watching the vote in the U.S. House as it happened. His plane refueling in Montana on its way to Spokane, Washington. And he's on his way to his 20th high school reunion after the vote. Gleason tweeted simply, quote, just did it. The Steve Gleason Act passed the U.S. Senate earlier this year.